Hey guys, it is Patrick here and I wanted you to know before you dive right into this accounting information systems lesson that the accompanied worksheet is available for download if you head to my website at www.patricklymsa.com or I'll leave the link directly to that worksheet down in the description below. Click on that, download the worksheet and print it out and that way you can follow along the accounting information systems lecture that I'm about to teach. So it has all the notes that I'm going to be going over. All you need to do is write your notes and fill in those blanks. So make sure you do that. And here is your AIS lesson. All right, in this lesson, we're going to talk a little bit about corporate strategy and how AIS is influenced by the corporate strategy that an organization has. Now, remember, corporate strategy is kind of, you know, how their roadmap I say their management's management's roadmap to achieving the organizational's goal. So what's their corporate strategy? And we're taking a look at how AIS fits into or how even corporate strategy fits into accounting information systems. So there are three factors influencing how an accounting information system is designed. So we've got our accounting information systems here. These are the three factors that really influence how this AI system is going to be designed in order to support the corporate strategy of the organization. The first one is the organizational culture. So what's their culture like? For instance, you know, we're kind of in this age where most things are now done electronically, uh, but I could remember five, six, seven years ago when, you know, people were still doing things in the books you know, we still had computer systems, but, you know, a lot of things were being done by paper. So paper checks were uh, issued, uh, invoices were all done by paper, everything was done by paper. And then we saw this transition into what we call the cloud. And that transition into the cloud, only some companies did. When what I saw as a small business CPA uh, owner was that I saw, I saw two types of clients. I saw my, you know, very old established business clients and I saw, I, I saw very young, innovative uh, clients on, on this side. And so what I saw was that, you know, for the, the established organization, their culture was, hey, if it works, it works. Why do we need to change? Why do we need to incur additional costs? So they weren't necessarily on the bandwagon to digitalize everything in their system, including their payables. So they would issue hard checks to their vendors, um, making it costly and taking a lot of time to get done. And then I had my clients that were much younger, technologically savvy. And when we would pitch them, let's say, bill.com, which is an online payable um, platform that allows them to integrate their bills into bill.com and then bill.com will actually do the payments either electronically or by check and all of the approvals are done electronically. They were definitely on the bandwagon because they understood that that organizational culture is going to drive an AIS system. They had more of a cloud based AIS, AIS system, whereas they had more of a manual and um, what we call on-premise software type of accounting system. So um, we've got two different systems all doing pretty much the same thing, but that organizational culture is what maybe dampened their ability over here to be very technologically savvy over here. Another influence affecting a AIS system is the business strategy. What's their strategy? So again, going back to organizational culture a little bit, you know, their strategy may have been like door to door. So that door to door requires, you know, gathering information a little bit differently than over here may have been digital marketing. So using digital marketing where everything comes into your digital platform and then you have instantaneously information about the customer. Whereas over here, you may have to ask a little bit more of the customer and document that a little bit more on your end versus here we just have the customer fill out this form and now we have all the information that we need. And then another influence affecting how an AIS system is designed is information technology. Obviously that's an important part here um, nowadays because it allows us to effectively and efficiently process data into information to be able to make decisions a little bit quicker than we would expect. So all of these at the end of the day will work with each other and all of these are influencing how an accounting information system is implemented and designed within an organization.
Now, a big factor in designing an AI system obviously is the information technology. That information technology has grown, has become more efficient, and has done a lot for us as accountants and for managers to do something called predictive analysis. Predictive analysis is so important in business because it allows us to maybe forecast what might happen in the future. By forecasting it, we've got more information, more that more information, which becomes better information, allows us to pivot a little bit sooner than maybe other competitors. So let's talk a little bit about predictive analysis. So this is the use of data warehouses and complex algorithms to forecast future events based on historical train, trends and calculated probability. So obviously we're trying to predict what's going on so that we can maneuver a little bit quicker. So for instance, let's take a uh, look at, you know, a very popular company you may have heard of, and that would be Disney. So, you know, when, with Disney, they've got a lot of data of how many people come through their parks every single day. They also have data on what the weather has been on those days. So with a reasonably reasonable certainty, they can guesstimate how many individuals will be in the park at any given time based on weather. So for instance, if it's a rainy day, then Walt Disney World and the Disney Company we can predict how many people will come through the doors, which will then help them make sure that they have enough labor on hand to handle that many people. So if that means calling off people um, so that they don't come into work, so that they're um, not doing nothing, then that's what they might do. That predictive analysis allows them to be able to predict how many people they're going to need on hand based on the number of guests that are entering their park at any given time. If it's a good sunny day with, you know, 75 or even 80 degrees and everybody wants to be outside, they know they're gonna have a surge of people. And if you're in California, they've shut the park down every so often because it gets to capacity. In those cases, they know maybe they need to bring more labor in or maybe they need to prepare for those shutdowns because they know they're gonna get to capacity in their park. So what uh, communication needs to go out on their social media to tell people, hey, you may not wanna come out today because we're getting in, we're gonna get to capacity and we're gonna have to turn you away until we reopen the gates when enough people go out of the park. So predictive analysis is important for our corporate strategy and the way that AIS helps us is it gets us the data so that we can be able to do those forecasts to meet our organizational goal. So that's a look here on how AIS kind of works in tandem with our corporate strategy and it helps us understand, you know, what's going to happen before it actually does happen at the end of our day. I feel like I've been saying at the end of your day a lot in these lessons, you just got to, well, it is what it is. That's why I hesitate. Anyways, we'll see you in the next lesson. Hey guys, thanks for watching this lesson. If you're looking for the next lesson, make sure you hit up that lesson right over here. And if you are looking for the entire accounting information systems course, make sure you head to my website at www.patrickleemsa.com where I have the full AIS course available to you. So until next time, we'll see you in the next video.